Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. In this video I would like to share with you an unboxing first look of a new CVV knife that I recently purchased. It will be the CVV Cogent. This is one of the two new releases uh, with uh, brown micarta scales. So inside the box we have the CVV pouch and inside we got two stickers a nice microfiber cloth and of course using instructions and warranty information CVV really brings up the the quality of the overall package for presentation and on the other hand I would like to uh, if they could uh, maybe a little bit uh, save up on the product overall price uh, basically we don't need uh, the pouch if you are a collector you have probably lots of them so uh, let's continue with uh, the knife itself so the conjure so the cogent the, this particular knife has a model number of c 20038 d 6 It is a really nice, I would say, uh, uh, medium to, to large size uh, folder. Well, let me give you the quick specifications. So we have an over length of 20 centimeters, that is uh, 7.9 inches. We have blend length of 9 centimeters or 3.5 inches. The cutting edge is 8.4 centimeters or 3.3 inches, the blade width is 2.6 centimeters or 1 inch, the blade thickness is 3 millimeters or 0 0.12 inches, the handle length is 11.3 centimeters or 4.4 inches with a thickness of 1.3 centimeters, that is 0 0.5 inches, that is without the pocket clip of course. And lately, uh, I don't know why, but CVV uh, did not produce uh, a few models with uh, any kind of uh, brown uh, micarta, brown cabinet micarta, like they usually did in the past. So this is uh, something new. They call it coarse micarta, but basically it's a uh, burlap style. So uh, on the blade we have a Sandvik 14C28N with a bead blasted finish. So I do not prefer uh, bead blasted finish on my blades just because uh, they are more prone to rusting but uh, if you if you keep uh, well maintain your uh, blade uh, with any kind of anti-corrosive uh, uh, applications like uh, use a EDCI then you should be perfectly fine uh, the Sandvik steel is a, a stainless steel so it will definitely help. If this was a D2, I would be probably more uh, careful with uh, that blade. Okay, it is a really nice clip point profile with a flat ground. On the handles, like I mentioned, we have a burlap style uh, micarta, which is uh, slightly buffed. So uh, this one should same should stay same while using it uh, it will not probably soak up that much of your oils from your fingers maybe get a, a shade darker also I really appreciate all these intricate milling patterns which uh, give a much better uh, traction to the to the handle scales so we have milling pattern here yeah overall so liners are as you can see deeply skeletonized which i love to see this significantly reduces the weight of the overall weight of the knife we have open uh, pillar construction the lock is on this one is used uh, a button lock which is uh, really nice and the knife is perfectly smooth pivot assembly rides on caged ball bearings We have also nice screws on this one, so this will be no problem to disassemble. 
pocket clip is really nice and deep carry uh, medium uh, stiffness and we have really nice flush screws on there opening method is only a flipper but you can use also the centrifugal force to swing it open okay let's see the sharpness out of the box since this is a flat grind it will cut really really nicely so shaving sharp out of the box let me show you the pocket profile really quickly so like I mentioned this should have a medium stiffness so it will go inside the pocket without any problems and this is how much it will stick out also they have a nice milling pattern on the pocket clip so another attention to details what I really appreciate uh, Okay, so the weight comes at 97.8 grams, which is 3.4 ounces. Uh, so this is basically really lightweight, in my opinion. Currently, and I checked, uh, you have 11 variants, so different kinds of CF, uh, G10, and micartas. Price-wise, you are looking at the MSRP of the $84 uh, dollars and uh, one sorry eighty four dollars and ten uh, ten cents and uh, on blade HQ I check out the pricing was seventy one dollars and fifty cents so if you are from Europe I will link you uh, down below a few options also for basically where I'm uh, buying the my knife so if you like to check it out uh, I don't know if that's still available but you can go and check them out okay so now let's see for size comparisons so since this is a burlap style my carter like i mentioned i have few burlap my carter knives here on the table so firstly let's bring out the elementum uh, this uh, is a uh, matrix style or matrix type of a burlap uh, which is called by CVV you can see there is a different uh, cut to it so for size comparisons here is the Almentium also here is the CVV Rustic Gent in that 10 burlap micarta From CGRB, I have here the limited edition uh, exclusive for the knife center, the large uh, felt spar, which in my opinion is one of the best Berlin micartas from a Chinese company you can get your hands on. And this is uh, not buffed, so I don't know if this one started uh, similar, but definitely uh, they are uh, a little bit different. Uh, they shade, color of shade of brown, but Here's the large felt spar. From six leaf, I have here the SL-02. It looks also different. I have so a triangular pattern. Okay, so here is a, a large reptilian which I converted uh, with uh, these burlap style Macarta scales that I got from Aliexpress. Here's my Buck uh, Sprint Pro, which is a really nice quality American made burlap Macarta. Okay, let's continue with a uh, Tucson. This is the model 111 in that 
polished uh, burlap micarta style. Now here's the CRKT pillar with the canvas micarta. Here's the Kaiser Pinch uh, with the OG Chinese uh, brown micarta canvas style or type. QSP Penguin with the brown micarta there. Kaiser Bag Lighter 2 with the linen type micarta. See here is the spider code parameter two in canvas micarta scales. Red model one in canvas micarta. This is Ace Grant in canvas micarta. Green canvas micarta and. Let's continue with some non micarta knives. So here is the spider called Delica. Nine forty from Benchmate. Buck Vintage Avid. Here's the Rough Rider Peanut. And let's close it down with a K Bar Dojo Holy Hunter. So, overall, I would say for $71, $72. This is an excellent EDC option if you like those kind of uh, micarta, uh, Berla micarta scales. Definitely uh, CV is branching out as regards as, as handle scale materials and models. Just the sheer volume, uh, 11 uh, variants that are available with different kinds also uh, blade finishes. There is also, if I seen right, a, a Damascus style uh, blade. So. Yeah, uh, they got covered a lot of uh, tastes out there and they are pushing uh, those really nice designs. I don't know who is designer on this one. Probably it is a in-house design because there is no uh, maker's mark on the blade whatsoever. And I also I could not find uh, uh, who is the designer. So maybe uh, if somebody knows, uh, let me know in the description down below. Okay. So with that being said, uh, I would like to wish you a very nice day. Thank you for watching, of course. If you're a subscriber, thank you very much. Big thumbs up to you. And if you're not a subscriber, then please consider subscribing to not miss any future videos. I try to release at least three videos per week, mostly knife and gear oriented, but sometimes I also stuff regarding my other hobbies. So with that being said, wish you a wonderful day. Hope to see you soon. Bye.